Good morning, everybody. This is MegaHerb here with part two of Let's Play Breath of Fire, a much better dragon related game. And now we get to find out what's in this treasure chest, and it is a wonderful 300 GP. And it's kind of boring, but it's useful. It pretty much nets you one item in the weapon shop. And through the magic of television, I managed to do some grinding off screen up to level four. And here in this weapon shop, the only thing really worth getting is the arm pad. There is other good stuff here, but you can get better stuff or equally as good stuff in the next dungeon, so you don't bother wasting your money on it or your time. It's easier to plow right through, so I'll just buy this now. Since I didn't want to use my 300 GP, because I had to show you that it was actually 300 GP, you couldn't just take my word for it. But yeah, I bought some herbs, some marble threes, and a couple of antidotes. Because there's an enemy in the next part that poisons you, and if you don't have antidotes, you're pretty much screwed royally. Plus the marble threes make it so you don't have to encounter random battles, which I really should use, but you haven't seen these enemies yet. And in case you're just actually watching me play this game because you don't have access to it yourself, I'll at least show the enemies. But if you're playing it yourself, there's not much point, I guess, but it's just an executive decision that I made. Now, during the world map sequences, in between random battles, sometimes, like, a deer or a pig will come on screen, or a bird, like, there's a couple of different ones. Both the pig and the deer, the deer is the easiest one. If you have bow, typically you're supposed to shoot them with his arrows and kill them, but... If you wedge them, if you trap them in a corner a certain way, they'll s the deer or whatever will spin around in such a way, and then it will explode into antlers, and you can pick them up and sell them for 50 bucks. So that's kind of useful for grinding right off the early parts of the game. But if I if I can show you how to do it, I'll show you how to do it later. I, I just haven't had the opportunity to do it yet. Well, I have, but during my off-screen grinding. If I do it, if I have the opportunity to do it on screen, I will do it on screen. So, your first order of business is to heal yourself at this spring here, defeating all, any and all enemies that get in your way, including the spiky ball beak creature. They're, they're very natural, I'm sure, occurring naturally. I wonder if those things like pollinate or because seeing those two mate would probably be a very traumatic experience. These spikes and other spikes and... Ugh. It's just weird. And here you get two treasure chests. I'm sorry, but I'm going to spoil this for you ahead of time. They both contain 70 gold pieces. And... That is just... I don't know why it couldn't have just been one treasure chest with 140 gold pieces. I think it's more just to mask the fact that the game reuses backgrounds in some places, and there's, there might be one part in the game where you get two treasure chests that are useful. Like, it both contain useful items. So for the rest of the time, it gives you an herb and something. Well, not always, as is evident right there. You got two with 70 gold. But, whatever. And I am going to try to edit out random battles. I didn't that time because I was finishing a thought. As I was saying, I was need random battles to... I'll use... Unless I'm trying to finish a random thought, I'm just going to edit out the random battles like you saw there. So here we have more of the double treasure chest phenomenon that I alluded to earlier. Got the bronze sword, that's why you don't want the saber. Which I'm sure you have deduced by now. I'm collecting more treasure. You think they could just, instead of having two treasure chests, they would just take one treasure chest, put both items in that one treasure chest, plus the extra like 50 hundred bucks that it cost them to buy. Where do they? That's another thing. In these games, where do they buy these treasure chests? I've never seen treasure chests for sale anywhere. You have a never-ending, like, bag. Like, a bag of holding, for all intents and purposes. And... 
it just, I don't know. It's, you, you can't question it, but I'm going to. And there's another one of those reused backgrounds. We've never seen this place before. But, although there's never any use for both the treasure chests. And here I am, adding random battles again. And there I go, up on the stage. We are drawing near to the conclusion of this wonderful dungeon in Camelot here. At least I think I'm in Camelot. As a general rule, I don't remember the names of towns and games, especially in a game like this where it doesn't really matter. Because truth be told, the story in this game is really quite lackluster, but the game's so considerate that, and the gameplay's enjoyable that that keeps it alive. Be sure to walk on the bones here and get the cool bone sound effect, and get this treasure first. Because you'll, you'll lose all your AP, which you don't have use for yet. But if you check this one, it contains a spurroing, and you get full everything again. Now, I'm not entirely sure why they didn't change that. I'm guessing that must mean no one tested this game. Or is this an oversight by Squaresoft when they did the English translation? Yes, here's the first enemy, the Frog King. He's just called Frog, but he's it's what he's getting at. He took over the castle, he wants to be king. But I'm just going to edit to the end of this battle, because it's very cut and dry. So yeah, I'll see you at the nearly the very end here. And here we are again at the very end, and the reason why I stop it here is because on the last strike you'll see that it says the frog seems alright. That's a reoccurring trend for about 95% of the boss battles. You'll hit them seemingly to the last drop of health, and they'll have a little bit extra left over that you have to drop them down to that is an unknown value. Oh, I gained a level. It's very exciting. Oh, hey, I gained two levels, that's even better. Let the fun don't stop. Ooh, three levels. That's hat trick of levels. Ooh, fresh air. That's, that's good. Apparently fresh air kills all enemies, even though fresh air doesn't kill them on the world map screen. So better get these chests. There's probably good stuff in them. Ooh, an herb and 150 bucks. And once again, through the magic of television, I am just going to warp out of the dungeon. Hey everybody, here I am back again, and here's the game's diatribe about how I'm awesome for saving the town. Although it is kind of neat that later in the game, I don't know how much later, but the town does rebuild itself. There's no reason to come back here, but it does rebuild itself. Just so it's neat that they actually bothered. So, I'm going to leave this and I'm going to end the video here, so, nah, I think I better, just, I'll just edit out here. I'll probably just meet you at the next place, which is over there, and if you can't find over there by yourself, you probably have Down syndrome. No offense to people with Down syndrome. Anyways, I thank you for watching, and have a pleasant evening.